Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We are continuing our very first farm by, uh, not, I don't really have a plan for today. Uh, we did in the last episode, we harvested a wheat field that we had purchased here and then ended up wasting it completely because it didn't end up going where, I, it didn't end up working the way I thought it was going to work. Uh, but that's okay. We are going to try to figure out uh, finishing up all of, uh, getting all of this done. It looks like we have a green, is this? Oh, okay. Uh, let's go look at the field that we sowed over here. So we have, um, wheat growing here. Obviously nothing's actually happening yet though. Why is it saying, it, it, is it darker? Does it go from lighter to darker? I'm guessing that's how that goes. Lighter to darker and then it eventually gets to orange. So we need to figure out what we're going to plant in this field over here. Let's uh, let's see. We are currently in November. We need to find something that we can plant. Well, how do I know how long it takes for these things to actually go, though? Because I have no idea how long any of this stuff takes to actually plant or actually like get to harvest or whatever. Um. It's not what I'm up to. Hmm. Okay. So where do I go to find the information on the actual plants though? Cause hmm. Yeah, I don't know how long it takes wheat to go. So where do I find that information? Mm, yeah, I don't, I need, I need more information on how, hmm. So yeah, we have, we have a, a field over here that we could plant, but I don't know, I don't know what to plant because I don't know how long it takes things to grow. Oh, that's right. We need to collect all of this, all of this. So I guess, okay, since, since we know we need to do that, maybe... Forest Harvester Headers, what? Forage, sorry, Forage Harvester Headers. This machine can harvest, this headers are attached to Forage Harvesters. Okay, what's a f So is that a type of vehicle? Forage harvesters process the indicated crop types. It also needs a suitable header. I don't know what that means. So what do I need to, I, I know that uh, in other videos that I've watched, there's a trailer you can buy that will pick up things like that, but I'm not sure what it's, oh, forage wagons, right? collects grass, hay, or straw, and that kind of stuff. So we want to make sure we get a decently sized one. And I'd like to just buy one that can that's that's rated for the type of machine that we're using. I don't know that I want to spend over half of what we have left, though. Um, okay, so this one does 46 meters cubed. So, that's, so I guess 46 is 46,000 liters. I don't think we need anything that big, though. So that is 16, 23, 26. Uh, I think I think this right here is probably the best value. Mm. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this. Silage additives tank. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I don't know. Okay, well, let's go ahead and buy this. We'll head over, we'll get our tractor here, and I'll go pick it up, come back, and we can harvest, or we can pull up all of that hay and hopefully turn it into something useful. Oh. I think I should have bought a baler. That's what I should have bought. 
That's that's what I should have bought. I think we're going to sell that into a baler. Yeah. I think we're going to buy this actually. Let's buy this. We'll sell the other one. Yeah. All right. So let me go over there. Let me sell the forage wagon and get the baler and then that's what we'll do. Yeah. Oh, I probably need a uh I probably need a picking attachment for that, right? I need some kind of I need a bale spike. Yep. I have a front loader on here. So let me go ahead and buy this then. Should be able to pick that up. All right, let me get over there and then we'll see what happens. Okay, well, I was able to sell the forage wagon and I'm grabbing the baler now, but I'm not able to... Not able to attach to the fork up here. I know I have, I, I made sure I got the front loader attachment, but it's not allowing me to get it. So I'm not sure what the issue is. Hmm. Bail spike. I'm looking for front Mm, oh, but I thought I wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm ninety percent sure that I have a front loader on this. Oh no, I'm not trying to do that. Why am I not able to look at it? Um. Mm, so what? Do I need to buy a front loader? Hmm. Well, if we're going to buy one, I want to buy one appropriate for the tractor. So I guess we'll go ahead and just, we'll do, how many horsepower does this have? This has 280 horsepower. So let's make sure we're buying the proper one. So wait, what was I looking for? The front loader first. We'll buy the John Deere one. We'll buy the 280 horsepower version. All right, let's see if I can attach this now. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I'm. What's going on here? <laughs> I don't know. I know I need a front loading something to be able to. Uh... There we go. Okay. That was kind of weird. Oh wait! 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 sure why that did like that, but okay. So now I should be able to pick this up, right? All right, there we go. So now we'll be able to make bales and also pick them up. Like I said, if you're just joining this channel, this is my first time ever playing this game. So uh, there's going to be a lot of, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> So there's always that. Uh, let me get back. Let's get back over here. We'll go and try to make as many bales as we can. And then we'll pick them up and move them somewhere where we can hopefully put them on a trailer. That would be pretty nice. I think I would like to get a trailer that I can hook my pickup truck to, though. That way we can use that truck for something other than just driving around town. But we'll have to wait and see. So, unfold the baler. 
turn on the baler. Well, that's not doing what I'm wanting it to do. Hmm. I would think that it should start grabbing material, right? So is this not straw? Hmm, maybe I needed the forage wagon. Hmm. Oh, this is this is me not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Um Hmm. I'm gonna pull this, uh, I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, the freaking, I'm, I'm so tired of this mouse going outside the window thing. Don't offer a windowed mode for your game if you're not gonna make it easy to use, please. So what I'm trying to get to is, is I'm, I, I thought I was going to be able to do, uh, I thought I was going to be able to turn that into bales, but I guess not. Maybe the forage wagon was what I needed. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do now. I think I'm going to go back. Well, do I, am I able to just sell this stuff and not have to go back? I'm going to have to eat the cost of that, but... You know, that's kind of that's kind of what you live with. So let's uh, let's sell the baler then, since I can't really do anything with it. And we'll sell the front loader tool. I'll hold on to the front loader by itself, just because there might be other things I can use. But since that's not going to work, let's go through. Uh, let's grab the. Hmm. I'm th what I'm thinking is, is I'm going to use the cedar. Because this should be, it, this cedar is possible to seed directly with no previous cultivating or plowing necessary. So let's, uh, let's grab the cedar here. Oh, wait. Wait a minute, didn't I have something that allowed me to do both? Oh, never mind. This is, this is the one. The taskbar is in the way. Never mind, I'm sorry. Still trying to learn the ropes on this game. Alright, so ideally I should be able to just take this and immediately seed the field, right? So we'll seed this with wheat for now since I don't really know what to do with it. Get it unfolded. So now the question is, so this is not, this, I hate this, I hate this mouse situation. Okay, so it, it says it needs plowing, but the cedar here is supposed to do that for me, right? It's also not fertilized at all, so let's try this a little bit. Oh, it's not lowered. Crap. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the controls are just not intuitive at all. Okay, so ideally... So, so let, me, let me check this. Is it fertilized? Okay. So yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like this machine does all of our all of our stuff for us. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna finish uh, cutting in this field. Oh, it's so finicky. All right. <laughs> Let me uh, try to get this to turn the way I want it to. Mm. This is super awkward to do. All right, cool. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of work my way around the field that oh, around the field here. I, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do. It's taking me a long time to get comfortable with the way all of this works. Um, but I'm not gonna make you watch me plow my way through this. So I'll be back in just a moment. Oop, let me get around the curve here, so I can be on a straight line. <laughs> really hard to do. Okay. All right, I'll I'll figure this out. Thanks. I'll be back. <laughs> All right. I got this done. It was very difficult for me, but it is what it is. Let's go get the cedar put away. We still have a fair amount of seed and fertilizer available though, so we're not using up that much of our resources to get this done. Glad I turned off crop destruction. <laughs> I'm gonna need that until I become much more of a professional. All right, come on. Ooh. Okay. Just gonna run back over here really quick. I didn't stop to look at the field. I'm pretty sure it's only 50% fertilized, but uh, let's take a look at it real quick. See what it tells me that it needs. So it needs, it needs to be weeded. Why does it need plowing? Mm. Oh wait, what's the, what's the fertilizer set to? It's uh, currently 50%. All right, so first and foremost, let's, uh, let's get, uh, let's get the fertilizer over here. I wanna see if maybe the, well, I don't know. We it already we already did a direct application of fertilizer. So let me just let me take the fertilizer that we have, and if uh, if the fertilizer that we've already put in doesn't make a difference, then I'm just gonna. Ooh, that didn't go like I wanted it to. Then I'm just gonna sell this this one here because if it's not gonna make a difference, then I don't want to hold on to machine machinery that we don't need. I'm a little confused as to how you get... Okay. Okay, so this is still... Oh my god, the mouse. Still 50%. And this is 100%. So can you not fertilize 100% in a month? Are you not able to fertilize 100% in a month? I guess we'll test that out here in a second. Let me go to our other field and... Because we already... I know we fertilized that field last month. And I don't think it's 100... I don't, none of it was 100%. It was at 50 So it's still at 50%. Come on, go.
Yeah, I don't see any color changes happening. Yeah, it's still at 50. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how the fertilizer works, but uh, I think what we'll do is, is for now, we'll go ahead and... Uh, well, I'm confused, though, because <clears throat> it was absolutely making a difference for this stuff here. Maybe not this stuff. I don't. I'm not seeing the. I'm not seeing the color change. At least I. Yeah, this is already 100% fertilized. So, and I, I'm guessing this stuff over here was already 100% fertilized as well. So I just I don't understand how fertilization works. Yeah, I didn't do anything over here. So we're just going to sell this one since the one we have, since the other one that we have already does, um, already does what we're trying to get done here. Fertilizer spreader. This is the one we have on us right now. Yeah. So we'll sell this. Okay. So we already so we did a planting and the fertilizing already. We need to weed over there though, so let's go do that. So we have our sprayer over here. Oops. Uh, I don't know why this is just so difficult for me to do. All right, let's get this over here. We'll get it uh, set up and ready to go. Got to get through all this stuff first before I deploy it, because we're not going to be able to... Oops, wrong button. I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't seem like that's actually doing anything. Weed grow. Oh my god, this mouse ish situation. Okay, it is. It just didn't. It's weird that it looks drier. <laughs> I would have expected it to look wetter. Oh, okay, yeah, it, it's definitely making a difference. That's good. So let's get this finished. I'll back up. Kind of what I was trying to avoid there. Oh! This thing is so so easy to get messed up. Get off of it? Okay. I'll try to get this lined up and hopefully it'll work out the way I want it to. Here we go. And ideally I can just do one nice little loop around this way and it'll work out the way I want it to work out. <laughs> That's easier said than done at this point. I'm really struggling to make this equipment work the way I think it should. Ideally, I should be able to just bring it straight back this way, and it's long enough to grab all of it. Oh, not quite. Alright, that's fine. We turn around, and we'll just do a nice little swath right here. To get this part. And then we'll turn it around over here to get this little part. Can I fold this in and have it work? Oh. I was kind of hoping I could fold it up and just use the little middle part there, but uh, that doesn't seem to work. So we'll get this weeded. There we go. All right, so we'll get this folded up, put away. 
grab the roller really quick and do a quick roll of the field as we wait for this to fold. Okay, cool. Come on. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get better at this. <laughs> The way this, the way all this stuff drives is just very not intuitive. Okay, here we go. So let's get this out to the field, get it rolled, and then I think we can be done for this episode. I think that I'm actually gonna start over here this time because every time I start over here and I don't position myself over here first, I end up having issues trying to get this all to line up or line up the right way. So let me... Okay, so we can lower it down and that's all I should have to do is just lower it. The weight of the roller is supposed to take care of all of that. All right. So let me get around the field here. Hopefully this won't take too much time. I'll be right back. All right, finishing up one little patch right here. Let's get the roller lifted up. Let's check and see what this says. Now it just says needs plowing, but it shouldn't need plowing, right? Because we, uh, we were able to... I mean, I guess every once in... Oh, okay. So I think the plowing needs to be done... Okay. Like every once in a while, I think plowing only needs to be done every once in a while, right? So I should have plowed it before we did this. So the next time I'll try to remember to run the plow through it and then uh, ideally we'll get, a, we'll get a really good yield out of that. All right, now I know better. Okay, let's get this parked up. So hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends the video out to as many people as possible. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members, do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Uh, ooh, decide if any of those options are right for you and uh, your support is greatly appreciated. It's a critical component to help make this a uh, successful and independent and uh, self-sustaining channel. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys had fun, and I'll see you for the next one.